Welcome to the Peace Security Channel. Another day, another review. Today we have Baidu Antivirus. I'm really sorry if I said that wrong. I think these guys are from Beijing. Well, this is a cloud-based security product. Uh, in fact, this is the first time I'm looking at it. Their interface looks really neat and clean. I really like that. Let's take a look at their basic settings. Um, this is a cloud-based product, so uh, it's only 12 megs, I think, the installer. It's 11.3, so that's a really small installer. It doesn't have, uh, you don't have to update it. doesn't have, like, a huge update or something. Now it's set to quarantine files. Now it's got protection modes as fast, standard, or strict. Now, since I've never tested this product before, and it from what I know, it's relatively new and unknown. I don't even know if it works or not. So I'm going to set everything to the ba best that they have, just to see, I mean, if, if it's really worth taking a look at. So I'll just basically give them every chance. Now, this is interesting. Now, this guy says that it has Avira antivirus engine. Now, as far as I know, Avira has a huge, uh, I mean, compared to this, a huge signature database of about 100 megabytes. I think the program altogether takes more than 150 megabytes. Now, how this cloud-based program integrates the Avira antivirus engine will be interesting. I don't know how this works. I have no idea about this program. So right now, as I said, I've just maxed out everything just to see what's the best they've got. So I'll hit the OK button and uh, just click on the update button. I know it is up to date. And you can see I have the latest version. Now let's see what features they have. File system protection, that is your real time. I've set it to strict. Proactive defense. So it looks like they have some rules in here. No, it's just exclusions. Now that's interesting. It says rules editor over here, but basically it just gives you exclusions. And then you've got web access protection, home page protection. You can lock your home page if you want. And it says it protects from phishing attacks and scam websites. Then we've got self-defense. Okay, enough of the talking. Let's see if this thing actually works. So we've got uh, 496 files in there. Counts the folder as well. So we've got 496 files. And uh, they're basically the same from the Avast review. And this is one more day ahead. In fact, two more days ahead. So any good security program will get more than at least a 90% on these files. So let's see what this guy can manage. So that's a pretty quick scan from what I'm seeing for a cloud-based malware scanner. And that's really quick. I really like that. And it is, in fact, detecting a lot of stuff. Uh, when I looked at the product's website, my first impression was maybe this guy doesn't even work. But uh, let's see. It says it found 469 threats. And let's see what I can do here. Can I delete everything? Well, as far as I'm seeing, I do not see any option here to change. To delete or to, I mean, it's not giving me an option whether to select delete or repair or whatever. So I have no choice here. I'll have to leave these guys to be repaired, which might slightly reduce the detection rate. Never mind. I'll hit process. 
and that's really quick as well so far it's not bad Got a few that are going to be repaired or disinfected, so that's taking a little bit more time. So it looks like this guy couldn't be repaired or something. Come on. So I guess I'll pause and I'll be back whenever everything is cleaned. No just when I said it it just took off again so their interface does need improvement I mean you should have some kind of way to change the actions here right now I think you can just exclude them so that's it everything has been cleaned so let's take a look inside the folder what have we got we've got 35 items that's pretty interesting now if I we had 496 yeah 35 So that is a detection rate of 92.9%. I mean, that's not great. Um, it's pretty mediocre, but I'm fairly satisfied because this is an antivirus company I've never heard of before, so it does work pretty clearly. So let's see if it can do something to these files. In fact, uh, looks like maybe the change of the settings helped it. And I'll leave it this way for this test and basically seeing what's the best that they've got. See if they've got any kind of zero day or anything. So let's get started. Let's run some of these. See if it does anything. I'm showing you that it's turned on, of course. In fact, some of these might be disinfected, so that might have taken the detection rate. Oh. Right, application reg.exe, malware 27. Okay, I'm going to reject and I'll say remember my choice. So it's trying to modify startup items. Okay, fine, reject, remember again. So it looks like this one got through just fine. No, maybe not. So it's it's just telling me about startup items. So far I haven't seen anything apart from startup items alerts. But even that caused this application to fail completely. So successfully blocked, I suppose. Here's another one. And again this time it's red so I like their color coding system but each time I'm seeing the same alert so what I'm interested to know is that if they just flag anything that tries to oh no not great so um as you can see looks like some ransomware has taken over and uh, it was trying to open some web page that couldn't be opened but the damage has been done and let's see what I get when I reset my machine so systems are uh, still running I restarted and the only damage that has happened is my desktop background has been changed but that's no big deal and uh, potentially what happened is the application ransomware did take over 
my screen, but by preventing it to make a startup item, it just couldn't do anything. So now it didn't start up, so my computer is still usable. However, I do expect protection beyond just blocking startup items. Now we'll see how much damage actually occurs with this install. We're yet to see an alert that tells us anything apart from startup items. Again, modify startup items. Now, another thing that I need to mention is uh, this thing can run with your... Okay, I'll have to cut that off. Um, so you can see, I mean, there's a lot of malware that's making it through here. And uh, the only thing it's telling me ever is that if a program should be allowed to make a startup item or not. It's not telling me anything else. So, yeah, I guess I'll end the test here, and I will scan with Hitman Pro, but before that, I wanted to make one more point that this is not a standalone antivirus. You can run it with another security product that you're already using. So, in that sense, it didn't do that bad. I mean, I really hope they work on their zero-day component, but, I mean, as far as the signatures go, it isn't bad to run with your current AV because it doesn't uh, slow down the system. Forgot to show you guys that. And it's almost non existent. I mean, it doesn't uh, bother you at all. So you can run it along with your current antivirus program. So you can see it's got, you can see it's got intrusion prevention service, but as far as I saw, it was just startup items prevention service not a full-fledged hips application so memory usage is neat I like that about 17 megabytes and the interface is something I really like it's simple so yeah let's do a scan with Hitman Pro and see what got through So let's see what we've got here. We've got malware in users folder again, in app data local, and in startup items. In fact, in spite of uh, this guy blocking so many startup items, one did manage to get through. And we've got this guy in system 32, which is never a good thing. I mean, this is the most terrible thing to have malware, terrible place to have malware in system 32. And this thing's in program data. This thing's again in program data. We've got some stuff in app data roaming. And all in all, we have about eight infections. Oh, yeah, eight. So. My final verdict, uh, the still in beta, and these pieces of malware were pretty easy to detect, so it wasn't like a really intensive test. So at the moment, I would say that this software does have some potential. It's not like something to just forget. I mean, it did not do well, but I mean, it's still not bad. In fact, it's not too bad at all for a program that I've barely heard of. So and we must remember that we had everything maxed out, so this is the best that they've got, which isn't which is still below par, you know, in the industry right now, but this thing can run with another antivirus program, which is a pretty good thing. And uh if you're looking for substitutes to Malwarebytes Pro and stuff like that, this isn't bad at I mean its detection rate was quite decent and uh, acceptable and uh, it does have some kind of zero day of course it's not a lot just blocking startup items doesn't get you far but at least it's something 
Um, so they do have potential. I mean, they should really work on this program. It's in beta right now, but if they work on it, they might make it uh, a fairly usable and uh, nice security software application. So um, it's all positive from me in this review because I wasn't expecting anything better than this. I mean, this is the best that I could have expected. So. Yeah, it's certainly worth taking notice of. At the moment, uh, I wouldn't recommend running it on your system. You can, along with your antivirus, because it doesn't hurt. And uh, But yeah, at a stand as a standalone program, it's not quite there yet, but I hope they'll improve. And once they get their um, rules working properly, in fact, it does have rules. OK, I was wrong. OK, so here we have exclusion. It says exclusion on the top, so how am I supposed to know? Proactive defense is, so it does have some rules in here, but there are no default rules, so it depends on the user. So whatever, I hope I'm not getting a little bit sloppy here. It says exclusion on the top, so that's why I got it wrong. So anyway, have a nice day, and uh, keep an eye out for more nice software like this and let me know if you find any so talk to you guys later